Well guys, welcome back to another video. There is no surprise that you knew I was going to make this video because today is officially HTCU 11 day. And, you know, there's a little insert that um, HTC made about me when I did that little promo commercial when I went to that event or whatever. I didn't even know I was going to do that, but they asked me to talk about it and they ended up making a little meme out of it. Forget everything you think you know. Remember that? Everybody has speculation about the U-Ultra and how it's going to, you know, they have their own opinion about it. But let's just talk facts here for a second. Let's start with the obvious. I said in a video yesterday, I think it was, on Monday Smartphone News, today's Tuesday. And be sure to tune in for the live podcast today on Spreaker. I said in a video, you know, leaks show, you know, sources show it's going to be six fifty. Price, six forty nine. dollars uh, And also, let's go ahead and kick it off. They're also sending out fifty dollars off. So price five ninety nine. Here's some more facts: the red color and the other color. Uh, there's only be three colors for the U.S. at the moment, which is the sapphire blue. Amazing silver is the one that I'm definitely shooting for, and the brilliant black. So you got the sapphire blue, the amazing silver, and the brilliant black are officially in the U.S. for pre-order right now. Some more facts: it is unlocked. For all GSM carriers. However, Verizon customers, Sprint customers, rejoice. You can now get your hands on the HTC U11. Because they have a version for your carriers. Those are some facts. Now, some other things that they talked about on the device are the Edge Sense is what it's called. Basically, you can squeeze the phone and, and it can do things for you. Uh, if you watch the, um, you know, the, the, the presentation, I stayed up to watch it last night. It came on at 1 a.m. Central Standard Time for me, so I watched it. Edge Sense is going to be a nice feature. And I, I said to myself yesterday on Smartphone News, I probably wouldn't use it well. In fact, I will use it, especially for video and foot and camera footage, because that's where they kind of touted it to be the best, you know. And it, it's, it makes sense, though. If your phone doesn't have a camera shutter button, you have to go in and touch the screen and try to get the right photo. But with the with the HTC 11, you can just kind of hold it like this, squeeze it, and take a video. You can set it for applications. Any application, you can use it for that function. So, they, sh they shut it down with that. They also enhanced the headphones now. You get a free set of headphones again, but this time they're active noise cancellation. And they're supposed to be even better. The Usonic headphones, I love the Usonic headphones. They, they're on my desk over there, but... The Usonic headphones, boss, they sound fantastic because they're USB Type C also. USB Type C headphones, fantastic. Far exceed 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the old analog system. In my opinion, if you haven't tried USB Type C headphones, you're in for a huge surprise. Also, with that, speaking of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, they include an adapter this time, so you're good to go. If you have those thousand dollar headphones from Beats, you can still plug them in. Now it has water resistant, waterproofing. I didn't even think it, I didn't know it was going to have that, um, but it does. So uh, also I'm shooting this video with the front camera on the HTC U Ultra, which is fantastic for doing selfies and, and videos like this. Uh, I don't have any kind of special lighting at all. Only thing you're, you're the light is coming in from my windows in my office. That's it. Fantastic cameras. So you still have that beautiful 16 megapixel camera like this, but it's also on the front of the U11. Now, so and up, something different that they did was they have now this 12 megapixel on the rear with a 1.7 aperture. Now the cameras on uh, the U Ultra right here to me are fantastic and far outseed several phones in my catalog. However, the Pixel used to be by by uh, DxO Mark. What was it, an 89 best camera? They rated the U11 at a 90. They rated it at a 90. So we'll see how that holds up. But I can, from 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 my experience with the U Ultra and comparing it against the G6, the S8, all these other cameras, it holds its own and it's better than all those phones in some way or another, especially the front camera because this phone has four microphones. And, oh, speaking of four microphones, Yesterday I thought it was going to be 3D, 3, uh, surround sound video recording, it's surround sound audio recording. So with this phone, you, the, the Ultra that I'm recording with, you have four microphones. What they did was enhanced on that, and now at any angle, pretty much, 
it's uh, supposed to be some kind of enhancement to the 3D audio that's on this phone as well. We shall see about that because I'll be testing that out too. Some official specs. Let me scroll down here and, and get to the official spec page here. Also in the box, um, you get the Rapid Charger 3.0, obviously, USB Type-C. They also give you a clear case. Uh, you get the adapter, a cleaning cloth, and toolkit or whatever. But the phone itself is 5.5 inch quad HD display, Snapdragon 835, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs on board, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs on board for the China market. Can't have it all, I guess. I was really pumped about that. But again, the main camera has the ultra pixel setup. It's a 12 megapixel ultra pixel setup. So that camera, and it also has that that's ultra, the fast speed autofocus like the S8. So we're gonna see about that. Um, it's got optical image stabilization and EIS. So the footage should be ridiculous. And again, it has that 1.7 aperture it's got a dual LED phone, dual LED tone flash. Um, you can do raw format. It's got a pro mode and a manual mode with a 32 second exposure. That's crazy. I would never use that probably, but you know, is what it is. You've got slow motion video at 1080p at 120 frames per second. 4K recording, obviously. You know the norm. Uh, one thing that it maintains is boom sound, and it's supposed to. Did you see the setup on the speaker? Um, the setup on the speaker it's, it's, it's got a really small outlet on the bottom I guess it looks small because it's built different it doesn't have like the little separating holes like that it's just one single little open speaker but it's got boom sound still so boom sound boom sound high res audio recording high res audio certified uh, I think it says something about HDR certification too I believe they were talking about uh, it's got HDR boost, it says, for the video. Their main focus wasn't uh, primarily on the, the squeeze feature, like I thought. They didn't talk about that a lot, but they did talk about it. Uh, but, you know, that's a functionality that I'm going to set some applications for. You can do, like, two squeezes launches something, one squeeze launches something. I'll probably do something. And, and, uh, and, and just so you know, they have a pocket mode where... Uh, it, it won't go off in your pocket, and that's something that I, I was going to worry about. But so that I definitely can enable that feature for sure. It is a uh, Super LCD five with Gorilla Glass five. Some people said, "Oh, they skimped on it on the other on the Ultra." Oh, we don't even know. There you have it. So, three thousand milliamp hour battery, and I'm definitely not worried about that because some people say the Ultra had bad battery life. Man, I get it. I get at least five and a half to six and a half hours of screen on time on almost every charge on this Ultra. And the phone lasts all day. Because Sense UI is optimized fantastically. No lag anywhere for me. No bad experience. No nothing. It's it's just flowing right along. Now the U Ultra isn't a flawless device. I've already done a review on it. But this phone and I'm not I don't think I'll see much difference in performance because I don't see much difference now between the Snapdragon 835 and the 821. I just don't see it. Uh, but where I did see it in the S8 is when I was doing VR. The device stayed cool as a fan, man. Cool as a fan. So, my reactions to this, I think the only thing this phone, uh, well, it's not the only thing, but some people are going to complain that it doesn't have wireless charging. Well, complain all you want to. I think HTC checked off every freaking box every box. It doesn't have wireless charging. Okay, throw that one out the window. Now what? It's water resistant. Oh, wait. It's IP67, not IP68. There's going to be people that try to find all kinds of things wrong. They priced this phone perfect. And they're giving you $50 off off of the gate, so you have no reason to complain at this point. So all... I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to review the phone like I did neutrally with every phone. Take a neutral stance on reviewing devices and review them for what they are. No phone is flawless, but some phones are really good and they get overlooked because some reviewers hit the market and trash it immediately. There's probably people trashing the U11 already, but I don't even care what they're talking about because I wouldn't miss out on this wonderful device for any of those people. I don't even care. They can bash all they want to. Before, I watched and looked at some of those reviews like, why are they all saying this about the U-Ultra? The U-Ultra is great. 
even today, now the price has gone down, people are still trying to say it's not worth it. Even though you can get it for under 600 bucks. I mean, look at this camera quality. No filters, no nothing. I just hit record. That's it. Put it on tripod, hit record. No microphones, no nothing, because it has a front-facing microphone right under the camera. So, I think that what they did by, you know, they made it a much smaller device. It's got a 5.5-inch quality display. Like I said, you know, the bezels, or people are going to say it's kind of big. Hey, got that fingerprint reader, too. I forgot about to mention that. But um, the new color, Amazing Silver, folks, you get the J. Will sign off on that. The Amazing Silver is the one to get. The Sapphire Blue was cool at the beginning, and it had that nice, listen, the Amazing Silver. That's the one. Because my HTC U Ultra is black. I wanted a black one because I was going to get the white, but I went with black because there weren't a lot of people rocking with the black at the time. And I wanted it to be different. But I know everybody's going to probably run with that amazing silver. It's like a powder blue. It changes colors in the light and stuff like that. Folks, amazing silver. $5.99 price tag. You got everything you possibly could want. I, I just can't wait to compare this phone and I'm not being biased from the jump. I just know I've already compared the U Ultra, the G6, all these phones to the top dog S8. And I don't feel like it's a top dog. I feel like the S8 is a fantastic phone. But it still lacks where where other phones don't. You know? try to, I try to stay middle ground. You know, regardless of what you think I think about a phone. Yeah, I'm excited about this phone, but I didn't give the U Ultra a perfect 10, you know? It just can't happen, you know. There's very seldom does a phone get close to a ten on my channel, but I'm gonna stay neutral ground. I'm, I'm gonna stay right in the middle. I'm gonna give a review. I'm excited now, but that's why I do after the hype videos because I know once I get this in hand, I might feel a little different about some things. But HTC checked a box, several boxes. They nearly checked all the boxes. If you want to be honest, except for one, which is wireless charging. And I don't even use wireless charging. I have five wireless charging, fast wireless charging, sitting on my desk here. Three right here and two down there in the box. I don't even use fast wireless charging. I got those things just because people wanted me to review them. I didn't pay for not one of them. But it's a review item and a great giveaway item, by the way, too. So look for those. But the U Ultra, man, the U Ultra, I think the U11 capitalized on everything that the U Ultra people possibly could say would fail at, you know? I still say the U Ultra is a fantastic device. I use it every day. And the U11 is getting ready to shake up things and bring some heat. HCC put it up, it's available for all carriers. And some, shout out to that person who said in the comments of the other video, Jay, do you think it's going to be on Verizon? And I said, no, probably not. My bad, I was wrong. It is on Verizon and Sprint. They bring in the thunder right now, man. $599 for this device? Think about that. The G6 starts off at 650 man. You could get this as though it's 500 right now. 450 brand new. But we're talking about straight, raw, unlocked right now. So the G6 is 599 unlocked in the U.S. That's the lowest I've seen it. The U Ultra is the better purchase when you think about it. I'm going to put it against this G6. You know, I, I like the, the G6's cameras. It's not touching. It's not going to be able to touch it, man. I don't think so. I'm excited. And you should be excited too. You should. The 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 U Ultra is a beautiful device. And I'm basically gonna get the same type of quality with the U eleven. Jaman J. Will, that's my reaction to this wonderful device. It just it just hit us and graced us with its presence. Keep it one hundred, man. Tell the truth. Be honest. I know you're as shocked as I am. Boom. H C. Forget what you think you know, or whatever I said in that little thing. Because HTC is bringing it. It's your man, Jay Will. I'm out. Leave a comment down below. I want to know what you got to say.